Hey guys, today I wanted to teach you how to make a hemp friendship bracelet. So in order to make this hemp friendship bracelet, you're going to need a ball of hemp cord or twine. It is your preference. Uh, the twine is a little bit coarser and a little bit more inconsistent in its width. So it's, it's really up to you what look you're going for. I'm choosing the more natural look. However, the cord would be more processed. Another thing you're gonna need is a pair of scissors and a clipboard. Now, I'm not saying that you need a ruler because we're going to simplify this by using your arm as a measurement for your bracelet. Now, if you're making it for someone else, you may need to adjust accordingly, but if you're making it for yourself, this should give you a pretty accurate measurement to make it long enough for you. Now, in order to do this measurement without a ruler, what you're going to do is take the end of the string, pinch it with your right hand, and then measure the string all the way up your arm to your opposite shoulder. So say you're doing it with your right hand, you're going to take it up to your left shoulder. And the length from your left shoulder to your extended right arm will be the length that is required. So. Instead of cutting it at this point, we're going to fold it and duplicate this. And then you cut it. So now you have your tying string. Now put this aside. You're going to now need your core strings. You measure the core string around your wrist. Pretend that you're tying it onto your wrist. And then duplicate that. So this goes around my wrist. I'm able to tie it. And then I duplicate it by folding it in half, and then I cut it there. Alright, so we're done cutting strings now. We have our core string, which folded in half, is able to tie around our wrist. And what you're going to do with this core string is you're going to clip it to the clipboard, such that there's enough room for a loop. This loop is going to be important later for tying on your bracelet, so make sure that it's big enough so that you can put a bead through or a button or just the strings. Taking the tying string, you're going to fold that, make sure it's neatly folded in half again. And then you're going to make the loop here, put the core string through there, and now you have it just resting underneath your core string. And now what we're going to do is we're going to tie it onto the core string. We're going to do a simple knot like that. And now we are ready to start the square knot. So this is our starting position. Now the core string will never get tied. So what you can do is you can either tape it down on the board. It's important that this stays pretty straight down because this is what you're tying on to. So in order to do a set of the square knot, we're going to take the right string, make a backwards four, take the left string, go over the backwards four string, and then lift up the core strings then put the left string underneath the core strings and pull it through the backwards four. Now my core strings are kind of messy. And then you pull both tight. And then the next side of the square knot, you make a four over the core strings. So four, then you take the right string over the four, underneath the core strings, through the four, and then pull tight. And then we do it again. Backwards four, take left string under core strings, pull through backwards four. Then 
Then we take left string, make a four, take right string, over the four string, underneath the core strings, and pull through the four. So that is how you make the basic square knot. Now in order to make a spiral hemp bracelet, we're going to start off the exact same way as we started the square knot bracelet, with the, the core strings and the tying strings tie, tied on at the top with the loop. Clip that onto your clipboard. And so, in order to make the spiral, we don't do both sides of the square knot. We're only going to do one over and over. You make a four over your core strings, take your right string over the four, underneath the core strings, and pull tight. Now instead of using this string to do the second half of the square knot iteration, we take the left string again and we do the exact same thing. So what you're gonna notice is it's not obviously lying in the same direction. It's gonna to start to spiral. Four, underneath the core strings, And we pull. So we make a four, take the right string, over the left string, underneath the core strings, and pull tight. Make another four, over the left string, underneath the core strings, pull through the four. In order to tie these on, you put two strings through the loop, like that, and then you tie two and two together to get something like that. Now your bracelet will obviously be longer than this one, but you get the idea.